Hey guys, we've been working on one particular project for some time and we have an announcement to make. Project Click ID is up in the air. So what is Click ID? Focus on the lower part of the click board. See this silicone over here? Yep, this one, not the upper ones. This is basically Click ID. It's an EEPROM memory in which some unique number is stored. Fundamentally, that's it. And how can I make use of it? Focus on the upper part of the click board upper part of the clipboard right now. The upper part performs the main functionality. So to be more concrete, this brushless 27 click basically is going to control some PLDC motor. Combining this upper part of the clipboard, which actually is main logic of the clipboard itself, with the ID silicon, which is in the lower part of the clipboard, you get clipboard identification feature in your embedded project. You can capture ID of a clipboard in OS-based environment, Linux, as well as bare metal environment via Nectar Studio ID. Let's get a little bit technical. Imagine you have an embedded system in your possession. In order to insert some sensor into your embedded design, Microbus could be your friend. After embedding Microbus standard into your design, you will be able to insert desired peripheral. Having Click ID as a hardware solution, your embedded project will benefit by being aware what is on your embedded board in every single instance of time, no matter what. And how to get this ID within my embedded project? When we talk bare metal code, so microcontroller on one side, ID on the other side, you would retrieve this identification information, this ID, via protocol which is called the one wire. When we speak Linux on the other side, so OS-based environment, kernel will do the work for you. We hope you're going to utilize this click ID feature because it's really useful. I'm sure that I'm going to use it. Okay, for more info, check out mikuri.com slash click ID.